Good morning or afternoon, everybody. Hi, Robert. Hey. Hi. So we just had a wonderful brunch. Really what was good. the What was the name of the place we just had brunch? It's called Duo. 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 I highly recommend it if you guys come out to Kingston. It was absolutely delicious. So right now we're going to take a little walk after brunch, and what are we going to see? Well, first, th this is the corner where I spent like ten years because uh, this is the bank building, which was the Tonner corporate headquarters and design room and all that and we have the Tonner store here uh, for 10 years and now it is an incredible restaurant and a hotel so this is kind of cool this and is Duo, so cool where we where we had lunch is right across the street all right so we're gonna look at it everybody this is the this is such a gorgeous building the former Tonner headquarters and so let's maybe actually let's cross again so that we can see this bank from the other side it is now a restaurant but and a, hotel. and a hotel but it this used to be the Tonner headquarters how amazing what did it feel like to be coming into this gorgeous building every day it was great it was a really wonderful wonderful building I still like going into it for a good dinner though and so when you go in does it feel very good do you have nostalgia and good, good memories and times from being in there absolutely absolutely and uh, the food is so good that it's, you know, that's fine too. So. <laughs> Hi guys, good. everybody that's hey. tuning in, Robert and I just had a wonderful brunch and now we are doing a little walking history of the Kingston town and Robert's uh, former, st uh, not studio, but fa not yes, factory. My studio was Your there, studio too. design room was there and we had a store, everything, corporate headquarters. Awesome, corporate headquarters, I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna cross again. Can we cross? Okay. So we're out here in Kingston, which is, to, uh, Robert, do you know any of the history of Kingston or what? Well, a little bit. We, uh, Kingston was the first capital of New York. And uh, it's, so it's a, it's a pretty old city. Uh, it was burned by the British in the 17, I should know these numbers, but I don't. I probably did know them and I forgot them, but uh, it was burned. Uh, so it has quite a, a, a history. And it's been built, rebuilt numerous times in, in, in different periods and stuff that over the uh, past two or three centuries. So uh, it's, it's a fascinating sort of uh, background. We're walking currently under what they call the Pike Plan. This was, it's a walkway that uh, covers the sidewalk. It was done during urban renewal in the 70s. Um, some people like it, some people hate it, uh, but it's where they filmed. If you look up Pepsi commercial, I'm a pep, uh, not Pepsi, Dr. Pepper commercial. I'm a pepper, he's a pepper. You'll see the guy leading a parade down Wall Street in Kingston. So it's, it, it's, oh, it's how cool. kind of got that kind of history, yeah. I love it. Well, we're gonna, here, let me turn it around so you guys yep. can see just a little of, um, what, what it's in front of us. They've got all kinds of cute little shops, the Kingston Candy Bar. Is this a small town? It feels small, but it well, also feels it's, big. It, it, it's interesting because Kingston is divided into three. There's the uptown historic area, which we're in right now. There's a midtown section, which is um, more art lofts and old factory buildings converted into lofts and uh, the downtown, which is by the water. So, uh, you know, you, you've got the best of all worlds. Awesome. So next we are going to go to, where are we going next? Are we going to the We're studio? We're just gonna go around the block. We're going around the block. <laughs> we'll go around the block, get back to the car, and then we're gonna head over to the, where are we going? To the, my storage unit. The storage unit. Now, do you guys want to go into Robert's storage unit? I do. There's all kinds of fun stuff in there. All kinds of There's little nooks and crannies to get in into. Yeah. Well, doll people, they love storage units yeah. and they certainly understand having too much. They're all, we're all about that. Now the Snowflake Festival was yesterday. It was yesterday. And, and I hear it was a, a huge success. It was a huge success. We, you couldn't even go to your own party. It was such a success. That's right. But we had a great time last night, didn't we, everybody? Yeah. We had so much fun at your house, Robert. Great. Have you ever had a virtual convention come to a holiday party at your house? Well, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. This is such a treat. So 
we um, today we have a lot of fun stuff to do. We're going to be filming content for the convention. We're going to be baking your well. You already baked the cookies, but I you're going to show us how to decorate. Ice them, and I'll tell you where I got the recipe for the sugar cookie base. Good. So. Uh, and are they? I haven't tried one yet, but I can't wait. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to taste, but they do make a good foundation for the for the decorating. Now, do you like to bake? I love baking. What is one of your favorite things to bake? I, cakes. I love cakes to, to make them. I don't really eat them that much, but I, I love baking <laughs> you don't them. Eat... I, I know, it's weird. But... <laughs> Maybe you could have a little, a little bakery. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> Definitely not. No, we're going we're gonna to no, stick no. to fashion and yeah, dolls. Yeah, that's, that's right. So what's one of your favorite... Um, things to bake. You like making cakes, but last night I tried the red velvet and it was delicious. Thank you. And then there was a coconut cake coconut and a cake. chocolate cake. Well, my good friend Jason made the chocolate cake. So, and if we turn down here. I hear music. This is such a sweet little town, everybody. I really, I really love it. Are you glad you moved here? Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled I moved here. This is, it's, it's picturesque. And, and you know, the, the thing about Kingston is when, when I moved here, I saw the potential. Uh -huh. And what's, what's starting to happen now is that it's living up to its potential. People are moving in from New York City and from all over the country, really. And uh, It's a uh, happening place. It's really happening, yeah. There's a lot of events and things happening in town yep. and, and stuff like that. So are you thrilled with your new house? Because I am. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's yeah, gorgeous. I've loved every house we've been, but this one really works for us. So it's, it's uh, you know, it's roomy. I have a, I'll, sh I'll show you guys um, the kitchen and why we planned the kitchen the way we did. It's because I like to bake and all that, that we kind of made more of a, a professional feeling kitchen. Rather oh, it does feel open, like a professional right? kitchen. Rather it's wonderful, yes. Sort of Absolutely. Thing. And then that your wonderful studio that you have off the kitchen, did you build that or did that, was it there? Or how? The space was there, but I uh, we renovated it and then put everything in to make it work for me. Well, it is amazing. It looks, it's so studio looking. It's just, it's yeah, exactly right. what a studio <laughs> should look like. Damn it right. really <laughs> is. You go up the stairs and it's just perfect. So, and of course it would be. So thank you guys for walking around the block with us. Well, before you go though, we're coming to a very famous corner. Oh, let's... This is the only corner in the United States where there are four original pre-revolutionary war stone buildings. In one place. In one all place. Four corners. Oh, look at this. Okay. Let's turn it around so you guys can see. If you guys are just tuning in, Robert and I are going on a walk and talk around the block. And these are beautiful stone buildings, one on each corner. Do you have a favorite? Well, that's Rough Draft. They serve beer and, and they have books. So that's one of my favorites. <laughs> but beer it's, and it's books. a beautiful, yeah, beer and books. It's a beautiful uh, building. Do you spend do you spend a lot of time um, in in bookstores and in hangouts, or do you spend most of your time at home? Yeah, in my studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd love to hang out at the <laughs> beer and book place, but no, it's 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 definitely the studio. Yeah, and how much time do you spend in your on, in a typical day? What what is that like? If if you have a typical day, I'm sure. Uh, uh, and I don't, but I you you know I usually I do the morning thing like the gym and breakfast and all that kind of stuff. I'm usually in the in the studio by 10.30, and then I, uh, I work till about 5.30. Do you drink coffee? All the time. All day? All, Even no, in the afternoon? No, I stop about 1. Stop, okay. Yeah, so they can sleep. We did have some coffee at lunch, yeah, which means that we're going to be rocking and rolling all day today. And night. And night. <laughs> oh, we have a party to go to, which means I have another dress. Uh. So <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun. So let's look at these buildings. Let me turn around so you guys can see. I know that... Everybody out there just loves seeing the history and seeing. Yeah, you're looking at the, that's the rough draft. That great place. If you're ever in Kingston, you got to stop at rough draft. Got to stop there. And then this one is. This is a Crown Street. Crown Street. The Franz Rogan House. Don't you guys just love those stones? Doesn't it make you want to just move into a stone house? Love it. Love it. This snowflake festival is a pretty big deal. And you're on the board for the snowflake festival. 
I'm on the Kingston Uptown uh, Business Association Board, yes. And what do you do for that? Uh, I'm vice president, so I don't do much. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're waiting in the wings for when, That's right. for when um, any, anything happens, so you're there. Yeah, yes, but I'm, you stay very busy, Robert. You're always doing stuff. Yeah. Do you ever have a day when you <clears throat> don't do stuff? No. I don't know what that's like. And I don't think I want to find out. <laughs> I mean, it might be nice to sit and read or I don't know. But I do go to movies. And do you do go to movies. Stuff. Oh, yeah, I love movies. What was the last movie you went to? The or the last movie? movie you enjoyed? And I know you like to go to theater, too, which I love. Yes, love theater. What did I go to? I'll think of it as we travel. You'll think of, I'll it. think of it. Yes. I have to tell you one to oh, go to, though. Here. Oh, Movie or or. Play. No, play. So we saw the Tina Turner musical when we were in London. Oh, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Sounds... It was so good. We, uh, the last play we saw was Hades Town, And that was, that was unbelievable. That was so good. Ten stars. At least. At least. At least. Okay. Hades Town, everybody. Big recommendation. Big okay. Recommendation. The next time you're going to see us, we're going to be in Robert's storage unit. Uh -oh. I can't wait. Uh -oh. Okay. Bye, everybody.